This video might be a little bit triggering for all of us, so just a warning. As I've gotten older, I've been working through some of the childhood trauma and the junk that I've gone through, like all of us do as adults. And I found that some of the fears and anxieties I have today are directly tied to this game, The Sims 1. I played this game as a 10 year old every day for like several years. And I was exposed to some really dark and terrifying things in this game. So in this video, we're gonna talk about that. Five of the scariest things from The Sims 1. Now before we start, please do me a favor really quick, go down and like this video. It takes just one second and it really, really helps push out this video for more eyeballs to see really helps the algorithm, so it would be a huge help. So please go like the video real fast. I also wanna see how many of your scariest things would make my list. So real quick, go put a comment below with the five things that you would think, and we'll see how close your list is to my list. First, we're gonna talk about the prank phone calls. Now we all got tons of these calls while playing the game. They were always a little odd, but sometimes you got one like in the middle of the night, and as a kid, that scared me so bad. I would get into the habit of just refusing to answer the phone at night. Sometimes I would even delete the phone altogether. If we could just get to like 6 a.m. when the sun came up, I knew I'd be okay. But even during the day, you would get these calls and they just gave me chills. Telling me to like make preparations, telling me that someone's coming. They're just weird and creepy stuff. They always appeared to be so random. I don't think they ever like correlated to anything that actually happened in the game, but still scary. All right, next up, we're going to talk about the burglar. Everyone knew that this would make the video. The burglar, from all the people I've heard from, was the scariest thing in The Sims 1 to them, and probably for me too. In a legitimate serious note, it's extremely possible that the burglar sound effect has contributed to some of the anxiety and fear that a lot of us might have today. It makes sense that they took away the burglar completely in The Sims 4 because it was like super spooky and it just affected you long term. I always hated putting my Sim to sleep. I would always hold my breath just staring at the clock as it fast forwarded. 10 p.m., 11 p.m., 12, 1. I, I knew if I could just get around to like 2 or 3 a.m. I would just have a sigh of relief because that usually meant the burglar wasn't coming. Although recently I did have a burglar during the day. All my Sims were sleep deprived and they fell asleep in broad daylight and the burglar showed up and it definitely still scared me. I get so creeped out when I hear that burglar music. Even today, it's just super scary. Next up is the fire. Now fires were really unpredictable in The Sims 1. It always was so random, but there were some ways you could decrease the chances of a fire, which would have to be at least getting two cooking skills and to not buy cheap appliances. There was always still a chance though that it would happen, so you had to make sure you bought a smoke alarm because you could never count on your Sims actually putting out the fire. It's impossible. The music was so scary and intense and loud. It just made you jolt out of your chair. I would sometimes delete my stove completely again because I was too afraid of the fire. So we'll all just eat beans for dinner instead. Next up, we're gonna talk about the ghosts. Remember the original goth house? Well, if you do, you also most likely remember their backyard, which was just a cemetery. Now I know there's a whole backstory to the goth family. I don't know it very well, but I think these are like family members maybe? Anyway, every night going to sleep at the goth house had the potential to scare you to death. Cause where you have gravestones, you have ghosts and they show up all throughout the night, not at a specific time. They can walk right into your house, go through your walls, and if your Sim is awake, they can even scare them. The sound for a ghost, of course, is also really scary. I really hated the ghosts, and because of this, I didn't really play the goth family that much. Rather than deal with my fear, I just ran away from it, because that's healthy. Next, we're gonna talk about all the death that happens in this game, which is just super scary. Now, obviously, death is real in real life, and it's scary. It's also scary in The Sims 1. There are so many ways to die. Each of them is very frightening. Some of the scarier ones, for me, were getting electrocuted. Now, this happened when your Sim tried to fix something when they didn't have any mechanical skills, and this sometimes resulted in getting shocked, and when that happened, it outright killed your Sim. Another way to die was by starvation, and this was always so eerie. They would like moan and slowly kind of fall onto the ground. It was just so spooky. Oh, and you can't forget burning to death. That's just very disturbing, especially for a kid's game. There was no reason to make this game as scary as they made it. I guess Maxis really wanted to raise up a generation of frightened individuals. Well guys, you succeeded. Good job. 
We're all now scarred for life because we bought a computer game at age 10. I will now board up my home, unplug all my electronics, and hide away in my closet for the rest of my life because that's a totally normal way to live, right? Well, all that will work as long as I can have my PC so I can still play The Sims. Um, if you like this video, I have another Sims 1 video that I made just for you. It's going to be right here up on the screen. Please click over right now and watch that next. I'd also love for you again to like this video if you didn't already, and please subscribe here to my channel so you don't miss my next video. Hope to see you again real soon, and good luck in therapy.